So as we're walking along, go on up, you bald head, go on and up, you bald head, wow. he speaks the word, two bears come. What? Two bears come out. Forty-two youths. Two bears come out and they maul forty-two youths. The rest of the mob had to have run for cover. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they went back and told all the friends what Elisha just did. When you're in this situation, again, when when you're pressing through, you're past that mile mark, you're free, people jeer at you, you let God handle it. He will come down, He will take care of the situation. If He can have two animals come all, two bears come all, all these people, He can take care of your situation, He will take care of it. Amen. Going back to this next verse, the Elisha got jeered. He had just passed Bethel. It's time to destroy the yokes once passed, once cast upon you. I went back to the word God gave me that in this season, when you're enveloped by the bliss, when you're enveloped by the glory, when you run into what God's called you to do, when you're running into what God's prophesied over you, this is the season where He's breaking off the yokes other people have put on you. Amen. So other people have, have jeered us and spoken over us and cast religious witchcraft upon us. Satanic witchcraft. These are Christians. These are people that pray with you and, and talk to you and worship with you. But these are the same people that when you run and they're still walking are going to start casting this stuff. But 2010 is the day that these yokes are breaking off. Amen. Yeah. Amen. It's upon you. Amen. Sometimes it's time to destroy the mob. <laughs> 2000 times is the day we destroy the mob. The mob has rised up. The mob is coming after you. And God is calling forth bears. God is calling forth instruments of destruction upon the mob. Wow. On your behalf. And the yokes will be destroyed. Wow. The key. Let God do it. Yeah. Wow. The, uh, it was just do it. That was the catchphrase. Like this catchphrase is let God do it. Yeah. For us. Just run, my friend, run with fire, run into God, run into bliss, run into passion, run into your destiny, and let God do it. You're walking into your destinies today. Hallelujah. Amen. This is your day. Wow. This is your day. You shake everything off in your... This is your day that every time you run, it's like you can run a marathon in the Spirit. Because all the yokes have been cast off of you. Everything that's weighed you down that keeps you from running. Imagine if you're running a marathon and you just got a, a rucksack of rocks. Mm. When we used to do our 15 mile rush, marches, they would put 45 pounds of rocks in our rucksack. Mm -hmm. And it would weigh you down. That's me, a ranger. <laughs> I was always in the infantry. So, um, you put all these this airborne and Fort Bragg and, and airborne engineers and, uh, in Germany. I was in Berlin and I was infantry, five second infantry. I mean, nine months a year we were deployed fighting in, in the city warfare, urban warfare. And we would march from our fort all the way to the fighting city. It'd be about seven miles. And then run with the rucksacks with boots. What is urban warfare? May I ask? Uh, urban warfare is actually going into the cities where you see on the news where they're going into Iraq and they're going into houses and businesses. And we trade for city warfare where you take whole communities. Where you would go into Samara and you could... Uh, one house by one house, clear the infidels of the city. Intense very intense fighting. Very intense. 2010 is a day where God is doing urban warfare on your behalf. He's going before you into this city and breaking off everything that would come upon you. If you let him do it. Very intense. Yeah, let Very it. intense. Wow. Hallelujah. This is a day you're walking into your destinies. Amen. Uh, see you, uh. <laughs> That's it. <Tilt. laughs>